Dochi put out a project called Alligator Bites Never Heal. I want to make sure I got that correct. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, though. You know, sometimes you play a project and just be like, play that shit, and you forget all about the proper title. That is the proper title, Alligator Bites Never Heal. And uh, we've been bumping it separately, of course. We've been listening to it in our own individual realms, and we've been waiting to discuss it together. We've spoken very little off pod about it, so we could come speak here on this platform about it. And so, what are your thoughts on Dochi's mixtape, by the way, because this is not an album, apparently. Tired of the mixtape album conversation. I she actually it. explained it on an interview, but I'll get to that later. I just feel like I never... It's never an album these days. So you think here's the you're quick listening version. to an album and you're not? So she said, basically, today it is the same thing. And it counts on your deal in most cases. However, so like, for example, you'll sign a three-project deal. It would count as a yeah. project. But she was saying in her case specifically, there was a lot more pressure for what would be on your debut album versus what you do on your mixtape. And so where she was recording for her album, she decided to do this mixtape because it kind of gave her more freedom. The label and her both wanted to put music out, but the debut wasn't quite ready. And there's a lot of pressure and more scrutiny from the label. But because it's a mixtape, they pretty much let her do whatever the fuck she wants. Okay. And so that is why in her case, this is a mixtape, which a lot of people thought was an album. Uh, I know that this is not the case for everyone. Like JT did an interview speaking about the same thing. Her her story was very different. So, what are your thoughts? I was I enjoyed myself with Jill Dolce. Um, I remember her being on the scene a couple years ago, not really knowing too much about her. Right. Um, I'm sure there was more to say then. I just didn't have the, I didn't have the information myself. Um, but I thought this was dope. She is multi talented. Yep. Because my recollection, and I said this to you before we uh, decided to cover the album, I was like, my recollection of Dochi is that Dochi is a singer, not right. a rapper, um, which is perfectly fine. Like you can play in whatever pond you want to. I don't care. Um, But this was a good thing because she started doing promo, which I realized one of the videos that was out there a few weeks prior is of music that's the boom bap um, record. Record was, is actually on the mixtape. Um, She's super talented. Yep. Like, she's super talented. Yeah. Apparently, she started as a singer, then taught herself how to rap, but also she's a dancer before any of that, if I remember correctly from the interview. She don't rap like somebody who taught themselves how to rap. I understand. Sometimes, sometimes you just fall in love and study and practice and practice. I get that. I feel like some people just like start rapping the same way some people just start singing. It's not really a, it's, it's not really something they try to build up. I just, she just, she sounds like she knows what she's doing. She doesn't sound like she had to, she had to reach it very far to find her voice, but yeah, she's, She's great. I gotta be honest that it's been a couple weeks since I listened to the album, so I'm trying to remember specific songs um, that I liked, um, and I can't bring them to memory right now, but I love the fact that she sings and she raps. Uh, Oh, there's this one song, I can't remember right now, but I was wondering about features. I know there's really not a lot of features, and if there are features, they're hidden. Um, I think there's only one song where it actually says 
who it features, but there's a song. Is it like? Is there a song on there that has the word news in it? News. Yeah. I don't know why I have to look at the track list, but there's a song where I was like, "Do I hear Ari?" Oh no, I it's Doki. Right, but I thought for a second I was like, "Did Ari do some vocals on this?" Oh, if it is, then it's like background stuff, but nothing. Yeah. No, no one is credited except the one feature, so it probably is Doshi doing it. Right, that's what I figured, but I was like, "Oh, this kind of reminds me. This sound that the sound behind her." sounded a lot like Ari Lennox um and I know sometimes that happens so I was like yeah. hmm, this is an interesting this is an interesting thing to hear but yeah I thought it was dope I don't really I didn't really have anything bad to say about it I was like wow she's super talented I love that she's a little eccentric but also also she's Hardcore is not the right word, but like she's super, I feel like she's, she's a very rapidy rap rapper, yep. <laughs> which is completely unexpected from my perspective. I just wasn't expecting it from her. Right. Um, I think she's dope. I feel like we could com- have a conversation about like Rhapsody. And yes. Dochi at the same time, and yes. that conversation makes sense. Yes. Um. And I love that. I love. I love. Listen, I say it all the time, or maybe I don't say it enough. Who knows? But I do say that there's a lane for everybody, and there's room for us to like different types of music different types of people within a category different types of uh music within a category and i feel like this was like so refreshing um it's not a knock to anybody else who's doing anything else other than sexy red um but I'm done hiding that I don't like Sexy Red. Because the weird shit is just getting to me now. So, you want to be weird, I'm going to be honest. How about that? Got it. That's it. That's it. We don't have to go any deeper into that. But... But yeah, it's not a knock to anybody else and how they're doing it or what they're doing. It's just to say, wow, like, she won them once. Don't you? Yeah. Yes, I totally agree. I was like, oh, this is, this is hip hop. Like, this is, she, she has that grit. She, she has that intensity. Yeah. She could. I could see her in a cipher easily. Just yes, and with the guys, she don't even got to be with the girls. Correct. I could see her <laughs> rapping with the best of them, um, <laughs> and she has a beautiful singing voice too. <laughs> like, like I don't want to ignore that either. I was just blown away by her rapping. That's <laughs> I yeah. think where I'm at with it. I was blown away, um, but yeah. So that's my two cents. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, listen, this is a person who is quote unquote TikTok famous. When that is your introduction to an artist, you begin with skepticism. Right. And so that's how I was kind of put on to Dochi. It was TikTok sounds. And I'm like, mm, this ain't really my thing. Um, but then we had a discussion about her and her music and the project that came out and some tidbits we heard and we decided to do this thing. And so I said, okay, let me let me sit and give this a full listen. As always, I listened twice. And I also was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, she is an MC. She is extremely lyrical, but she's also extremely talented in the fact that in this project, you hear a wide variety of sounds, a wide variety of topics, a wide variety of skills. She's showing you that she can sing. She can spit, she can storytell, she can be witty, she's tapped into the culture, 
she's not afraid to speak about her bisexual uh, preferences or rather her or just her sexuality, period. She's talking about this guy played me and he had a boyfriend. That it's, uh, the wife was really a boyfriend. She's talking about how this girl's going on. I know she's currently dating a woman, but to me, none of that even matters. It's about the way that she delivered this project in so many different ways. Yeah, yeah. I am not a fan of the singing rappers. And so when the singing started on the project, I was like, ah, this shit. But she's not bad at that either. And so she is extremely She's talented. actually singing. She's actually singing, right. And so it's interesting to hear that from someone because you expect the same old I'm going to harmonize type shit. And so she's doing more than that. And even the beat selection, she is very good at um, putting songs together, not just putting words together. There are many people who are spitters but cannot put songs together. We've seen that time and time again throughout our culture's history. Doshi can do a lot of things. I, I sound like Doshi can do it all. She can be aggressive. She can be animated. She can be soft. She can, I mean, it's, she gave us the whole package on this project. And so I think that she did a great job. This is her first project off of TDE. And I think they did a great job. She's doing lots of press. And, and uh, she also announced the tour is coming. Uh, tickets are on sale, as she said in her interview. I, I, I would totally go see Dochi. Yeah. Um, I have not listened to any of her music prior to this. So maybe for some, this is not a surprise. For me, it was. The only thing I knew before this was she had a very popular song through TikTok. That's all I knew. And I love that even in her, I forget the name of the song, but there's even a song kind of catching you up to speed if you have been around for a while. She's like, oh, since the last project, all of these things has happened. Since the last relationship, all of these things have happened. And so I thought this was just a great, um, a great project, a great way to show all of your capabilities and make people want to hear more. Because on the press run, she's letting you know, oh, no, my debut album is coming. This is just to hold y'all till we get there. But this is a great body of work. Yeah, it is. And, and I, can, I can hear one thing I didn't say was that I, I can hear Nikki. Um, I can tell that she is inspired by Nikki. Oh, um, I don't think it's Nikki. I know what you're referencing. I, 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 I don't think you're wrong i just have a different opinion uh, oh she think, said publicly she said pub publicly that she's inspired by nikki oh yeah okay because she also spoke very highly of kendrick and said kendrick is her favorite rapper and i can i can totally hear that in there yeah i don't only hear nikki when i hear her i didn't want to go through a whole list but oh I, th yeah. that was that was one that stood out to me because Got of it. the theatrics that she she's she does. Yeah. That's totally a Nikki thing. That that well, yes. Kendrick does it. Too, does it too. Uh, but but Nikki, as far as I guess the ladies talking the ladies about female it. artists, yeah, that yeah. I could hear some of that Nikki kind of Nikki's very animated when she raps and she likes yeah. to change the intonation of her voice and right. um you know she likes to do voices if you will in a way so yes. yeah when i when i heard that i said man i wonder i wonder who she because i felt like i heard nikki i felt like i heard queen latifah um and there was someone else that I thought of that I can't remember right now, but it made me go to the internet and check to see if she had done any interviews where she said who she's inspired by. And Nikki was a big one for her. And I was like, okay, I could totally see how she's inspired by Nikki. So, yeah. No, listen, I, I got you. Yeah. And I, I hear the Kendrick um, in it. So when, when I saw the interview and she said Kendrick, I said, oh, yeah, that, that was what I yeah. thought. Um, but it wasn't even because I assumed because of her ties to TDE, she was saying she'd been, been, been was into Kendrick and uh, she it had nothing to do with the label. This was before she was ever even on the. <clears throat> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so great project. If y'all have not heard Alligator Bites Never Heal, you should go check it out. It is worth listening to. Definitely.